Yeah, just having a very busy day at the office. Yeah, where are you? Oh, okay, okay, you're home. All right. I'm guessing we're right there. I'm actually confused. I don't even know which one's taken. Mm, the pink dress will be good. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Okay. The red? I'm actually thinking of the blue. <laughs> yes. I think this one looks better. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay,
Why did you do it? What are you talking about? Oh, stop it! Stop it! They said you did and you were even caught in the act. Clara, I did not kill my wife. Richard, how could you? She loved you. She was a friend and a sister. No matter what the problem was, you shouldn't have killed her! I cannot represent you. Yes, it will be a clash of interests. I think you should look for another lawyer that will believe your lies. But be rest assured that I will use the full force of my office to prosecute you and send you to jail for the rest of your life. So that other women will be victims. Clara, what are you talking about? You are a murderer and a wicked man. I can't believe I'm hearing something. I understand. Now may I ask you, what happened to the innocent? He's quoting the law for me. Don't worry, we shall see in court. Yes? Clara. Clara. What is it? Are you right? I've been standing for a while and you didn't even notice my presence. What do you want? Nothing. I just want to know how to visit it and which I went. That bastard. He's maintaining innocence. I don't think he is. I've been going through his pictures. He doesn't look like a killer. He said they were suspecting Of course he didn't. He was even caught in the act. And yes, he's the only suspect. I think they should investigate me. 
maybe the real problems may be found. Stop talking rubbish and get out of my office! Good afternoon. This is happiness. Before we go into the news in details, let's quickly look at the headlines. Barrister Mrs. Helen Richard has been murdered and her husband, Mr. Richard, has been listed as a crime suspect. Chelsea beat its opponent in the Just Cup in the Premier League. Now the news in details. Barrister Mrs. Helen Richard was murdered in her home, and her husband, Mr. Richard, was listed as a crime suspect. The Commissioner of Police has given a press statement saying that the entire police force will not relent. Thank you so much. This is wonderful. Wow. You are surprised. Thank you so much. It's okay. Yeah, and baby, I'll be completing my youth service in two weeks now. Yeah, yeah, so I want to travel and see my baby. I'm just going to see my uncle and discuss with him so he can give me a job in this company. Okay, I think that's a good plan and I really hope you get a job. But, maybe what will happen to us? I mean, what if you stay? Stay, I will find a job for you. I promise I can do that. Okay? Thank you very much. Okay, you've done enough for me already. Eh? I need to go establish myself and the world you. Okay? Don't worry. I'll be back. Okay? What is my name? I love this. Don't worry. Make him merry. That's all for the news today. Until I come your way next time. From now, it is bye bye. What is going on? I went to your shop. Your son just told me you went home. She's dead. Who is dead? The husband snatcher. After going through the case file of the accused person, Mr. Richards, and his late wife, Marista Helen Richards, I hereby declare in this honorable court. The bail is hereby denied. And the case adjourned till Tuesday, 24th of July, 2018, for further continuation of trial. This is my stake on this case. Please, 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 please
David is pressurizing me to accept someone else's crime, an offense I did not commit. She was my wife and she deserved justice. Now the bell has been denied. What do we do? Yeah, I think we have a way out now, another way to go about it. I think I will be needing every bit of information about you. Your life, your marital life, your life with Helen, no matter how relevant or irrelevant it might seem to be, I need it. It will help you go to get a wrong way in opening up a fresh case and it will set you free. I think I'm you need it. So, it's a big problem, so I'm going to have it again. So, Mr. Richard, go. I'm listening. Okay, um... Hello? Good day, madam. Good day. Can I give you a ride? Well, I'm not sure you're going my way. Sorry. And no, you don't have to be scared or startled or anything. Um, you know the one I saw at Gofek Industries some minutes ago? Yes, I was there, but I didn't notice your presence. But I noticed you. Can I pop in? I mean, you take it to wherever you're going to. What? So that's my story. I've been searching for a job for months. Nothing is coming up. My uncle is not helping matters. I don't know what else to do. Richard, are you married? No. Girlfriend or fiancé? Nothing. Why do you ask? Well, nothing. But um, it's just that um, after telling me everything about yourself, your life history, and your work challenges, do not mention anyone special, like girlfriend or you know, someone. Well, I'm still searching. Mm. Yeah. Well, I pray you find one. A man. <laughs> so you're on the road, all sweaty. I was like, who is this so guy? <laughs> I was so tired. I was so tired. Job hunting. Going for one company with another, looking for jobs. But how can you do this? Everything will be fine, okay? I promise you.
young man. Yes, Chief. My name is Helen. You told me almost everything about you. Are you a Christian? And when can you start? When I can start? Chief, I'm a Christian. I can start immediately. That is good. Very good. Hello? Yes, secretary. I'm sending a young man to you now. Give him the required uh, fast treatment. Or accept my congratulations. Um, we'll go to my office now and meet my secretary. She knows what to do. I expect you to be loyal and uh, diligent. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I feel like it. Mm -hmm. Tell me, what has been happening at work? Oh, very stressful. Working with Chief D. It's a very difficult person. I know. You don't need to tell me. He's my uncle. It's so difficult. But it's all right. <clears throat> that I'll makes sense. Too. too much stress. Is what I signed for. I'm not complaining. <laughs> Knowing you has been awesome, seriously. I'm glad I met you. you said that again. <laughs> it's been lonely till I met you. Yes. Thank you. Uh, actually, I was thinking of showing you this. Uh -huh. What are you showing me? This. Whoa. Please. Me. No, 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 no. Are you serious? Are you serious? Are you serious? Please? Don't say no. No. Richard, Richard. Don't say no. Please. Yes. Yes. Richard. No. <laughs> Are you serious? Wow! Seriously, I was not expecting this. Anyway. <laughs> wow! This is beautiful. So you know what to do for me? Mm -hmm. Let's finish your food so we can go, okay? I'm going to be in <laughs> I can't eat again. <laughs> So, Barista, Clara Johnson, is that why you kill her? So that you take her place? I did not kill her. But your colleagues said you never liked her. That you're always envious of her. That's not true. No, we had our differences, but I will never do such a thing to Helen. I did not kill her. You are lying. But you know what? Barista, you better start telling me Every single thing you know about this. Because I'm gonna make sure that you never come out of this life. I've got my eyes on you.
the child. She knows. I don't know. I don't know. She just left my house after giving me the slap of my life. I just thought I should let you know. What her? What her? No, no, I'm so sorry. I, I, I don't know what to do. Richard, why? Richard, why? Why did you have to do this to me? Why? Am I not good enough for you? Am I not good enough? Why have I gone wrong? I don't understand. Don't I satisfy you? Don't I? What have I done to deserve this? The child Clara is my friend. She is my friend. You deserve this. Let me out! Get out! Out! Oh, please. Mama, you're welcome. Thank you, my son. How is your health? I'm getting better. How are you? I'm a reminder you now. I'm fine. Have you been able to contact me? Yes, I was able to talk to you. The past I don't know. I promise to do something. I promise I'm going to be out. Are you sure? Oh, I'm not sure. 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 I'm not Yes. Don't you have people? I'm gonna say we see you now. Let me find something. for an offense you did not commit. For you and your son, you still went ahead and killed his wife, my niece. Okay? So, so who killed my niece? If your son is not a killer. Woman, leave me. Leave me. Leave me alone. Let me warn you for the past. I have not started with him yet. By the time I finish with him, he will know that I am a dreaded liar. I don't want to step on my toes and guess scot free. Nonsense. <laughs> Thank you. 
I was surprised after all this year that this place is so nice and cold. I see. So, where is she now? I, I don't know where she is. After I left Delta State, we kept in contact for a while and I lost my phone and her contacts. And I decided to close that chapter of my life and moved on. But I know where she used to live. I don't know if she still lives there. You see, if I were you, I would be truthful and say things the way they are. If you have necessary information, lay it off now to avoid rotting in jail, Mr. Richard. I will send the boy, Mr. Frank, hopefully to go to the other state to come in this room for the investigation. Until I come in the Yeah, madam, here are the items we found in your daughter's room. You can take a look. What is it? Yeah, here is calabash and pictures. Oh. Wait a minute. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, you have to follow us to the station for question. Please take her. You just have to put yourself together in this. Because Mr. David and I are working very hard to make sure that justice is served in this case. Yeah, I was able to pull a few of my men to the various apartments. Here yeah, we discover a calabash with some of your pictures in it. Are you serious? Yeah. Your service pictures, your wedding pictures, your wife, your And there is also a letter that she made with her signature saying, Love us, man. Good morning. This is a public service announcement. The lady on the screen is Ms. Vera Inu and has been linked to the mother of Barrister Mrs. Helen Richard. Our effort by the authorities to bring her to work has proven abortive as she is nowhere to be found. Anyone with useful information about 
her whereabouts, she kindly called the number on the screen. Thank you. Someone placed a call from here regarding one where I am. Alright? Oh, here? Yeah? She was brought in here some days ago with no ID by a good Samaritan who works in the hotel she was staying. With a note written, My beloved Richard. I will wait for you in the underworld by your soulmate, Vera, in her hands when she tried to commit suicide. Are you trying to say she's still alive? Yes, she is. She is alive. We popped her stomach immediately and flushed the pills out of her system and registered her as Jane Doe. But nobody seems to come look for her. Not until this morning when we saw the news and her picture. I decided to call the numbers people. Well, um, that was so thoughtful of you. I must appreciate your understanding of the day so far. Thank you very much, God bless you. But then, I want you to do everything possible to keep her alive. Right? She's a suspect of an ongoing mother investigation. You know what that means? Do everything. Whatever bill you want us to pay, we will pay. But just make sure she's fine. We need that. Please. That wouldn't be a problem. But we've done all we could. It's really left for her. It's either she fights and leaves, or she quits and dies. Well, let's not sound negative.
Where is Richard? So, Vera, can you kindly tell us why you did what you did? <laughs> I did it for love. He wanted me to. Mom, what is the meaning of that? Who wanted to? Sorry, Mom. I will say no more. Not with that, my Richard. No, you have to say something. Look, young lady. Do not play games with us. You don't know how much in trouble you are. I bet she doesn't know. You must tell us everything you did here and now. Hello. It is me. It is me, Vera Ene, your love. Hi Vera. How are you doing? How is your mom? We need to see. No, I need to see you. I am in your town. No, Richard, I am not going to be here for that long. I can even come to your office. I know where it is. Richard, I am asking you nicely. Please make out time for me. We need to see. Have a nice day. I'll be waiting for your call. Okay, madam, what do I do? Well, I am not a madam, thanks to you. Not madam, what am I here to do? I believe you and I have a mutual friend called Richard. Do you mean my own Richard? I don't understand. My husband, Richard. How do you know Richard? Well, he happens to be my Richard, too. I'm his first wife. Excuse me? Yes, you should have not gotten married. For me. For me. Okay, listen. Listen, lady. I don't have time for this. Yeah? I'm a very busy lady. I've got a lot of things to do. Let me see. Do you need money? Are you hungry? If you need money and you give someone to black me or anything. You've got the wrong thing. I don't have time for this, okay? You need to get it. Okay? Excuse me, Helen. You should listen to me. Take your hands off me. Come in, you're Do you know what? I am not a third star. And I am definitely not crazy. Do you know which one I bet doing this week's for this things? And you're still in And then. Somewhere along the line, he declared his intentions to marry me. And guess what? He proposed. 
Yes, he did. And towards the end of his service, he came to see my people and then we had a traditional marriage. That was when he came he wanted to get a job for his own He left town. He lost contact and never saw him again. Really for me to hear he got married to so and that and yet this is the thing he gave me when he had a I'm not married. Enough, enough, enough. I cannot entertain this again. Listen to me. Listen very well. Richard and I are married, okay? You need to know that. And you need to stay the hell away from Richard and my family and me and everyone. I can't take this anymore, okay? You better stay away. I will. Listen I will to me, Helen. I am not crazy. We got married. I'm, I'm his first wife. We need to get married. Helen. Of course, we did get married, okay? We did get married! say to bring you down. I mean, to scatter a sweet marriage God has given to you. You don't have to believe it. What am I supposed to do with that information? See, David, he never told me about her. That is because it's not necessary. I told him every single thing about my relationships. All my past relations, I told him about it. And he did the same thing too. So I'm actually shocked. Because he never told me about her. I understand, but then that may be a lie. Okay, fine. What do you want to do now? Do you want to confront him? I'm confused. Our marriage is going through a lot of challenges now. We're barely holding ourselves up together. Like, it's, it's already shattered. Something like this is gonna end it. They said, I just don't know what do I do. Can you reach out to your cousin? What I want you to do is do not give room for people coming in to bring your marriage. I mean, that's a mistake people make. Stay put with your husband. Go home. Be with him, act like nothing happened. Even though you want to ask him, there are ways to do so. You don't have to believe that. 100% I don't believe that. That he's married to her. It's not possible. Alright? Stop. I'm ready. I'm ready. Are you are you okay? Shut me, I don't know where you were coming. How was it? My trip was fine. You will see me a million miles away. Are you sure you're okay? I'm okay, it's just that you were coming. Are you okay? You're you're burning up. Are you sure you're okay? I may have you like anything. No, are you sure you'll be fine all by yourself until the doctor gets you? If you stay at home, I'll take care of you. 
I will be fine, okay? This house, you need to get to the office to make a report about the trip. Yes, I will, but the company that I can just come in and talk to us. I will see them later. Mommy, you don't need to watch. I'll be fine, okay? Are you sure? Yes. Besides, the doctor will soon be here. I'll give you a call, okay? I'll give you a report on that. And Clara says she will come in and uh, let's go through the case for her. Right? So we'll be alone. If he says you will call she will keep me coming. Well, we'll be alone. Alright, so I will see you later, okay? Love you too, bro. And make sure you call me. I will find you. We have a lovely, wonderful baby. Hi, love. reception. Hello? Hello? What is it? Don't you know it's weekend? What do you want? The last time when you get back from your trip and you never did. And so, now listen to me, my wife is not feeling too well, okay? So, I've been trying to make out time to see you. Those schedules are very tight. You, your, your wife? You, your wife? You're using your wife as an excuse. Now, what about me? What am I to you? Richard, hello? You okay? Sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, okay? Why can't you look where you are going? My mind was somewhere else. I said I'm sorry, okay? I, I was just distracted by something. I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. You wouldn't bump into me otherwise. Do you have to drag it this way? I just said I'm sorry. Is that not enough? As soon as I said, I told you I'm a bit confused. This. I'm so sorry for shouting at you. So, you again? I'm so sorry. Are you okay? Mm -hmm. 
We found things. We've seen our gates. Don't be offended. I feel guilty to shoot you. Thanks. It's okay. I'm fine. I'll, I'll be fine. Okay. Excuse me. Hello? Hi, how is you? Who is this? Um, my name is Calvin. And my friends call me KV Swag. Okay, Mr. Calvin, how may I help you? On the contrary, I was wondering how I can be a part. You had me alert to that so And you seem so sad and uh, Happy. And I was wondering what could be making this beautiful man happy. And I said to myself, Kev, call her and make her happy. I'm sorry, Mr. Kelvin. I think you've got the wrong number. Because I actually don't know that I don't need you to. I'm sorry, I really don't need your help. So I'm cutting this call right now. No, 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 no. I have the right from you. Your card fell from your hand and I picked it up. And would love to give it to your wife. What do you think of all that? Thanks, Mr. Thank you. But I'm not in serious need of a card. I actually don't need it that bad. Can I give it again? Okay then, have a meal with me. Sorry. I'm not hungry. What about drink? I don't drink. What about sex? It was very, very stupid and silly. I actually think you're sick in the head. What do you take me for? Ah, I'm sorry, cuz. I had to make you come pick it up, see? It's okay. It's sorry. Okay. I would have brought this to you, but work has been crazy lately. Terribly. Okay, it's okay. I understand. 
okay and i really appreciate that at least you stepped in to help a brother in this case because i really need this case to go off asap i've got a life i have no choice <laughs> thank you your phone is ringing oh, it's not important so oh yeah that's it that's the part i really need you to help me with. oh yes you need to really go through this room very important okay. but, but take your call Seriously, it's not important. How do you know it's not important? It could be something really... David. Yeah. See, that's the number I've been telling you about. That idiot. He's been calling me. He calls me every night, every day. He's so irritating and annoying. Like, if I, like I don't know if I, I can actually break this guy's head. What do you expect? I mean, secret admirers can be really crazy. Mm-mm. Poor rat, more like it. Something like that. Please, I'm gonna let you check here what you just said. Seriously, this guy is going to put me in trouble. I'm not joking. He calls me morning day, like all the time, 24 hours. Richard is beginning to suspect me. He's thinking I'm having an affair. So, anyway, just uh, text me his number. I'll just um, tell him off. Thanks, Gus. Okay. So, I. I pray it doesn't get to that because seriously, I'll be going nuts like crazy. Going nuts. I'm serious. Oh, <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Daddy beat her to get killed. I just wanted her out of the way. I wanted her to have an affair with Kelvin so Richard would catch them in the act. Maybe that way he would have divorced her and married me, but she wants me to a Kelvin. She wants. <laughs> it's a long story. But then, you give God all the glory. At least for keeping you alive to finally, finally tell us the truth, how it happened. Hey! Uh, um, this is a doctor's report. He said your world is too strong to be discharged. So, Miss Vera, you are under arrest for the mother of Mrs. Helen Richard. You don't have to see nothing. Whatever you see now, please. Would you please stand, please? So, justice can be done. Oh, we got to, we got to, we got to. Woman, relax. Justice delayed is justice denied. Take it easy. Take it easy. Justice must be done.